tracing and identifying shapes. How are you friends? I am very well. Do you remember that we learned tracing of objects from our surroundings in the previous video? Today, in this video, we will learn identifying different shapes, tracing the shapes and drawing pictures using shapes. Hello, I am Thumbkin. And I am Pointer. Friends, look, we have a clock with blocks of different shapes, which will help us in identifying shapes. Here, the circle is first in order. The oval is second in order. This shape is like an elongated circle. It is also called ellipse. The triangle is third in order. A triangle has three sides. The square is fourth in order. The length of all its four sides are the same. The five-sided pentagon is fifth in order. The six-sided hexagon is sixth in order. The four-sided quadrilateral is seventh in order. The four-sided rhombus is eighth in order. And the rectangle is ninth in order here. Its opposite sides have the same length. The heart is tenth in order. The star is eleventh in order. And the plus symbol is twelfth in order. Friends, now let's trace some of these shapes and draw a picture. First of all, we will trace the square shaped block and draw one, two, three squares. Let's now trace the ellipse. One and one, two ellipses. Now we will draw a hexagon shape by tracing the hexagon block under these two ellipses. Yes, now we will trace this triangle block and draw two triangles like this. Now we will take the quadrilateral block and place it like this and then trace it and we will draw two quadrilaterals. Now look at these blocks. This is a circle, this is a pentagon and this is a rhombus. Now we will place these blocks in the three tree squares shapes and trace them. Oh wow! This is a picture of rocket. If we want to show this rocket flying in the sky, then which shape would we have to trace from these? Hmm. To show the rocket flying in the sky, we would have to trace the star-shaped block. Yes, so now we will trace the star-shaped blocks and draw one, two, three, four and five stars. Mr. Pointer, if we fill the colours in this drawing, then how would it look? If we fill the shapes we drew, it will look like this. Isn't it looking beautiful, Thumbkin? Oh, wow! Friends, you can also draw some more pictures like this by tracing different shapes. Friends, today we learn to identify different shapes and draw pictures by tracing them. You can also trace the shapes 
and draw different pictures. In the next video, we will identify some more shapes and count them and we will also color them.